What's going on, everybody? My name is Manta, and welcome to my channel. This is where I react to TV shows, movies, and other things that I find interesting. And today we are getting into Umbrella Academy Season 1, Episode 5. So before we get on with this reaction, I want to let everyone know that I do have a Patreon over at Patreon. You can see all my reactions uncut, unedited. You also get them weeks, weeks, weeks ahead of YouTube. So if you guys want to support me and want to support the channel, link's going to be in the description for that. And also you can see me streaming over on Twitch. I stream about two to three times a week. I play a variety of games. Come hang out. We have a whole bunch of fun. Link's going to be in the description for that as well and also if you guys end up really enjoying my reactions please consider hitting that subscribe button that really helps out the channel too all right on to umbrella academy last episode diego's homegirl got blasted she's dead diego's pissed klaus escaped with the sacrifice of diego's homegirl and he teleported somewhere uh number five his like the eyeball facility blew up so i think he's back to square one also last episode allison and juno were kind of making amends and they were kind of discussing sus guy here's the thing they weren't showing that sus guy was sus so that's why i thought he's, he was sus but then last episode they showed him pouring the pills so they're like trying to make it seem like he is sus and that makes me think he's not sus you know you know you know who that is anyways let's move on with this episode episode five it's called number five so i'm pretty sure it's going to be about number five we're going to learn a lot about him or maybe where he went or how he I, I don't know i don't know what we're going to learn but hopefully they give us some answers because i'm going to be honest with you this is not this is not the best show of all time i feel like they're giving us a lot of questions if, if, if you're going to give us questions, that's fine. But the, sh the story has to be a great story. You got to have a great story. And this story is not great in my eyes. It's, it's honestly mediocre. So on the whole, a mediocre story with a bunch of questions is, is not really doing it for me. But I'm going to keep on watching because at the end of the day, it is a TV show and it's, you know, entertaining and it's killing time. So, but anyways, let's get on with the episode Umbrella Academy season one, episode five, number five. Let's go. Boom. All right. The end of the world already happened, so this obviously takes place in the future. Oh, Dolores, good to see you again. Why does he look like that? Damn, so he was just traveling, stuck traveling. What the hell? It's like, how far did he travel? It's snowing now. What the hell is that? That's him? He's been traveling for like 40 years, 30 years. That's actually pretty crazy if he was traveling for that long. That's not him, no way. So he's been, he was living at the end, after the end of the world for a long time, for decades? Whoa, this is actually pretty crazy. He had an entire life after the end of the world. So he must have survived the end of the world because he time traveled there after everyone already died. So whatever killed everyone didn't kill him because he got there after everyone already died from it. Who the hell is that? And he's he's pretty fast with that gun. Hmm. I never knew he um, lived a whole life like that. Uh oh. You have any idea what you just did? Whoa! 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 It's, it's Claus's fault. It's Claus's fault. It's after the guys in masks attacked the academy looking for him. None of which is any of your concern. It is now. They just killed my friend. Oh. In your face, Five. Who are they, Five? Yeah, who are they? They work for my former employer. They work for my former employer. A woman Ooh. called the Handler. Was that the chick he, he put his sights on? And now they're my fair game. And I'm going to see to it they pay. Oh, shit. Diego's pissed. The handler, that has to be the girl he put the sights on, right? In that little intro. Like, where's he gonna go? Like, he just went, he goes into his car and he's gonna look for who? Like, he doesn't have, doesn't even uh, have a lead. Oh, there's a lead. Donut shop. Jelly, oh, he's gonna hit up. The poor, the poor diner lady. What's this really about, Five? And don't give me any of this, it's none of your business crap. Yeah, spill the beans. There we go, yes. Yes, answers. I'm here to help. Bullshit. Tell me why I shouldn't put a bullet through your head right now. Yeah. If you did, you wouldn't hear the offer I'm about to make you. Shooter. I work for an organization called The Commission. The Commission, okay. We the are commission. tasked with the preservation of the time continuum through manipulation and removals. What? I don't understand. Me neither. People make choices that alter time. Okay. Uh huh. When that happens, we dispatch one of our agents to eliminate the threat. What? You're a recruit. Oh. You're saying that I 
I could actually leave here. Oh, he just wants to leave. In return for five years of service. Wanted to stop all of this from ever happening. They, she wants it to happen, or... It was supposed to happen. Like, okay, number five does not have a lot of options right now. Yeah, he looks at Dolores like, what do I do? It's either Dolores or, you know, work for five years and get a pension. I'm trying to figure out the right equation so I could get back, save the world. Hmm. Oh, he's been trying to save the world for decades then. So I broke my contract. Okay, he didn't do a whole five years. And he came back. Holy shit. Okay, about fucking time we get some goddamn answers, dude. I remember I saw um, an elderly man's face in the portal in the first episode. Yeah, that. I saw that guy's face. Yes, right there. That, that, that. I saw that. You see that in the first episode. Okay, I like the answers we're getting in this episode. Like, this is still the beginning of the episode. Where are we? Like, 10 minutes in? And we got all those answers? I like that. About freaking time, Umbrella Academy. There's Klaus. Klaus, you killed Diego's homegirl, dude. You could have helped her and you ran away. And she got shot in the back. I'm actually pretty uh, upset with Klaus because of that. Like, he left with the time machine. Thanks for saving me. I'm going to leave with the time machine. You get a bullet in the back. What are you doing? No, you idiot. Come on, dude. Oh, no. You're stuck. So where did he go? Did he travel space or did he travel time last episode? You know when he when he when he activated that in the bus? He either traveled space or he traveled time or both. But if he traveled time, then why did he do that? Now he's stuck. Uh-oh. Another message. These tubes are weird. How they're just all over the place. Violation code 6874A, unauthorized round trip traveled in 1968. 1968. Are you wearing makeup? Just a little. Uh-oh. Getting ready for sus, dude. Flowers yesterday. Brunch this morning. You're really jumping in with both feet. <laughs> What's wrong with that letter? It's just after yesterday, I don't... True. I have he, a bad yeah. feeling. He shouldn't have been in her home, for sure. But he grabbed her medicine. Sus guy. Even though we're the same age. You are? Yeah, they're twins. Yeah, we were all born on the same day. Oh, right. Right. The, uh... Uh, whole umbrella thing. Oh, is that why they call themselves the Umbrella Academy? Because they're all under this umbrella of born on the same day? Is that what? Maybe I will have some coffee. You did just put salt in your coffee. Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> why is there salt there? I remember I, I was working at a restaurant once, and instead of putting sugar on top of the cookies, I put salt. And I, I put salt on top of the cookies, and I put them out. Because it was a buffet, so I put them down for people to eat. And then within a couple minutes, the manager came and he goes, hey, come here, take a bite out of this. <laughs> Whoops. Believe in yourself for once. Great things are going to happen for you. I think this guy is. Uh, I think this guy is trying to help her. What the hell? Why is number five with Klaus? What the hell did he? How what the hell? Wait, 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 wait. How are they in you the same okay? place? What? Is this in 1968 or is this in the present time? Okay, how long were you gone? Almost a year. A year. Wait, what? Do you know what this means? Yeah. I'm 10 months older no, now. This <laughs> joke. Are they, so they're still in the past. He went in the past or he came back? Wait, dude, that interaction right there straight confused me. Pogo's working on mom. Wait, Claus is back. What the hell? How did he get back? I'm confused, dude. I'm so confused. Did I miss something? Claus teleported in 1968 and now he's back in the present. Am I supposed to be confused right now or with the whole time travel stuff or no? <laughs> veterans of foreign wars. Veterans of foreign wars. All right, what's he looking at? <laughs> Hey. So now Claus has a story, a background story that we don't know about. This bar, it's for vets only. I am a vet. Did he serve dur during those 10 months in the past or what? That you are depriving some village of their idiot. 
Oh! There we go. Bar fight. What the hell is Claus gonna do? Does Claus know how to fight? What's up? Where's Dave? What the hell? So maybe he did dead serve during those 10 months. So we time jumped. We skipped We skipped a lot. They're gonna have to show us in a later episode. What is all this? It's a probability map. Probability of what? The world ending? Whose death could save the world? Whose death can save the world? Are you saying one of these four people causes the apocalypse? No, I'm saying that their death might prevent it. What? So complicated. Time is fickle, Luther. The slightest alteration in events can lead to massively different outcomes in the time continuum. Yeah, that's the butterfly, the butterfly effect. effect. This episode is really confusing and really interesting. They're throwing a lot of information at us, but like I'm, I'm, I'm getting half of it. The other half is just confusing me. It's basic math. His death could potentially save the lives of billions. So he's going to kill four people to save the world? Okay, do it. I say do it. There is one way. Let's hear it. But it's just about impossible. And he's not going to tell us. I knew they weren't going to tell us. I hate this show. I mean, I like the show, but I hate when they do that. Man, she's fucking shredding that violin. My point is that there should be some kind of record of him, but all I could find is a photo and his name in the phone book. It's like he didn't exist. You are unbelievable. Hmm. Oh, okay. So he just came out of nowhere then. And for the first time, someone thinks I'm special. But he's playing you. But I can, but yeah, for the first time, she feels lonely. Worry about your own daughter. Oh my God. I want you to leave. Damn. Oh no. But you know what? She just wants to be happy with someone. I can see where Juno's coming from. She just wants to be happy. She wants a boyfriend. Like the truth is she did find some dirt on him. But Juno doesn't want to see it. She wants to, like, ignorance is bliss, you know? Number five can time travel without a briefcase, but not that well. The big oaf lived on the Is he going to blow them up? Years, and the idiot in the mask can curb anything he throws, usually knives. He can, oh, he can, that's what he does. He curves knives. Because he's in the parking lot hiding behind an ice cream truck. <laughs> they already caught him? He curves knives, okay. I just thought he was a badass fighter. I thought that was his, like, special ability. This, 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 again, this episode is interesting. I'm still so confused, but like, this is probably the most interesting episode so far. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, no. They got him. They got Diego, but Claus saved him. Oh, they fucked up the car. Uh, they were one step ahead of them. So that music. What's happening? What's she doing? Oh, something's happening. She's um. Whoa, 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 whoa! Her powers, her powers, her powers, her powers. What does she do? What is she doing? So what did Juno do right now? So what does she do? She persuades or no? That's what Allison does with her rumors. What does what does Juno do? What was that? She can manifest stuff or what? She wanted people to like her, so they liked her. Be careful. I've lived a long life. Still a young man. Catch your whole <laughs> life ahead of you. Don't waste it. Funny hearing that from a kid. <sighs> yeah, even he's like, a kid just told me that. <laughs> Alright, here we go. The agents versus one and five. This all goes sideways. In your favor and tell Dolores, I'm sorry. Who cares about Dolores, dude? So how do we help each other? I need you to get in contact with your superior so I can have a chat. Face to face. Hmm. He wants to talk to the handler. Crazy. So he wants to talk to the handler, who's the leader of the, the assassins. He was supposed to do five years, but he just bounced in the middle of it because he wants to save the world, which she doesn't want to save the world. She wants to make sure the world ends. These two agents are sent back to kill number five, but they. But in the last episode, they just found out that he wants to save the world. So they're like, we're not just coming back to save. We're not just going back to kill five. We're going back to make sure the world ends. Okay. I'm getting it. And who the fuck is this? Dun, 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 dun. This is Diego and um, Klaus. <laughs> Luther, Luther's like it.
What the fuck is this? This is so awesome right here. Neat trick, isn't it? <gasps> Handler! Oh, she did it. She did it. So why don't you tell me what you really want? Well, I want you to put a stop to it. Put a stop to what? Put a stop to the end of the world? Which is why we want to offer you a another new offer? Position back at the commission. <gasps> in management. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm talking about the home office. Ooh, I like the sound of that actually. But the world's gonna end though. You know, if the world's gonna end, what's the point? We can make you yourself again. Don't believe her. What about my family? They all die. What about them? I want them to survive. <laughs> all of them? Yes. Yeah. Even Klaus. I'll see what I can do. Hmm. Do we have a deal? I don't know. I don't know. I had no idea the episode was going to go this way. He took the deal, huh? Go, go, go. Where did five go? Sus guy. I've never played without my medication before, so I was so nervous. Huh. Like an out of body experience. Yeah, sort of. What? He knows what's happening to her. I still want to know this guy's story. This is your time. Uh oh. Oh shit. Let's go. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Okay. All right. That's enough. <laughs> Guys, don't look. <laughs> oh, there's that uh, out of body experience. What is her power? Okay. Now that we know she has a power, what is the, her power? What's up with that attic? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who's that? Wait. Whoa, who is that? He has a body in his attic? Who was that? What is going on? What's, what is her power? Oh, he fixed her. Wow. Fine. Do you remember mm. what happened? The children can never know. Never know what? I understand. Pogo, never know what? What are you hiding, bro? So that was my reaction for Umbrella Academy Season 1, Episode 5. And it was called Number 5. Uh, I'm going to say it, my favorite episode of the season. They answered a lot of questions about Number 5, where, he's came, where he came from, uh, who these agents were. I'm completely satisfied with those answers, okay? I'm completely satisfied. We, we did a little bit of time jumping. I want to know how Claus came back from the 60s. I'm pretty sure we time jumped, and I'm almost positive we're going to find that out in the future. Vanya, what is her power? It's, you know, they haven't told us what it is, but apparently she has this essence, right? Um, I would consider the show is getting good now <laughs> after this episode. Um, but anyways, I want to know what you guys thought. Did you guys like this episode? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you guys like my reaction, go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps me out. It gets this video circulating through this crazy algorithm of YouTube. So if you guys want to help me out and you guys like my reaction, go ahead and hit that like button. But that's going to be it. I'll see you guys in the next reaction. Don't do drugs. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. Peace.